transfer field values to posted entries with the simple object designer. Hey, I'm Eric, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer field values from different tables through the posting process in Business Central to the posted, uh, posted tables just by using the simple object designer. Let me show you how. Here is the simple object designer. And let me show you what I have here because I, I did a bit of homework before I started the video. And whenever you create a field, let's uh, let's create an, an, a new field on, um, let's create a field on a purchase header. So we will go and, and select table 38 and we will create a, a, a field called demo field. How about that? And this should be a code 20. And uh, let me actually do the following. I'll just refresh so we get this up here uh, where you can see purchase header now. It's right here. And um, I can, of course, place this on pages as we showed in another video. So I want this on uh, on the purchase quote. I want it to be after. Let's choose an anchor. Uh, I want this after the document date and I can do that on you know, F8, 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 and then that field is on all pages. But what I really wanted to do is show you the, the field transfer column here. So I click field transfer and it tells me that from the purchase header, uh, the simple object designer has the ability to transfer this field to somewhere. We could say that we want to transfer this to the purchase line, meaning that after we create the header and, and create the line, we want to make sure that this field is on the line also. I click activate and I'm asked, tape purchase line do not have a field called demo field. Should it be created now? Yes, please. Um, if I want this to go into my ledger entries, I can. I need to go through the general journal line. So I select general journal line and activate that. Um, and we get the same question. There's no field called demo field on the general journal line. Should we create one? I say, yes, please. And I could do the same thing with the item journal to get to the item ledger entries. Um, so now when I exit this one, you see that we got even more lines added here. So now we have the, the demo field is both in purchase header, purchase line and general journal line. But if I, and, and um, I do apologize, let's see if I can um, add a bit of a filtering here. Um, so if I go and say filter to this value, so here you can see that demo field from the general journal line. Uh, we're not really showing it in the journal. Maybe we don't need that. But if I hit transfer here, then the simple object designer knows how to transfer values from the general journal to the GL entry, to customer ledger entries, to vendor ledger entries, to, to bank account ledger entries, and to employee ledger entries. So let's say that we want this field to end up in the GL ledger entries. We activate, say yes, the, there's no, no such field in GL ledger entries. Should we add it? We add it, we close that. And if I remove my filter here, we now on GLED entry also have the demo field. Um, maybe we want to place this so we can see so we want it on the on the ledger entry page. And we want this one after the document number. I now exit this, I hit publish, say yes to publish. So what we're doing now is that the simple object designer is taking all the changes that we have made. And, and, and basically what you're seeing is a, the accumulated, all the, the demo videos, uh, 
all the, the changes that were made in them are in this in this extension we're creating. So it's getting bigger and bigger, but it's building the extension and then I select it to, to, to deploy it into the environment that I'm in right now. So we can see now the upload is in progress here and I hit a five and this will take a bit of time. If you've seen some of the other videos on, on the simple object designer, you know that this is the case that when you deploy an extension, you the extension is sent to Microsoft and they apply it to the server uh, and it takes, yeah, there we go, it's done. Now I can exit out of this um, and I can go to a purchase order and we could just open a random one here. And now we have a demo field. We didn't give it another caption, so it's called demo field. We'll call it video demo uh, in, in the description. And I will post this one to receive an invoice. Do you want to open the post invoice? Yes, please. And now I want to use the, the what it, what used to be known as, as navigate is now called find entries. I'll find the entries that has been generated from this. I find the GL entries. And we can see that the two entries on GL entries that came from the purchase header has been tagged with our value. So the value we added to the purchase header was transferred to the general journal and into the GL ledger entries. So that's how you make field transfers with the Simple Object Designer. If you want to try this out yourself, you can download the designer from, from AppSource directly into your Business Central. And uh, the first field is free. There's a link below to more information about it. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask here or you can use the, uh, the support link uh, in the app. And I hope you have fun creating your own fields and your own field transfers without writing any code in Business Central. Until next time, have fun.